time working together on that 70s show and from the very beginning i could sense his innate goodness and genuine nature his genuine concern for those around him and his it seems like diddy's drama is getting worse particularly now that new characters are joining the freak off saga it is obvious that diddy will not want to face the penalties alone according to reports ashton kutcher and his wife myla kunis are preparing to leave the United States because Diddy has been snitching, putting Ashton in danger, and they are not waiting for the police to arrive. According to the circulating rumors, Ashton is feeling the heat and is afraid Diddy may turn him in, so we need to get started. Ashton has already encountered dubious associates. In the past, he was connected to Danny Masterson, who is incarcerated for 30 years when Ashton and Mila posted letters of support for Masterson before to his sentence last year, begging the court for compassion, they received a lot of negative feedback online. Supporting friends is totally understandable, but it says a lot about a person's character to stick by someone who has been found guilty of significant crimes. However, it seems that Ashton and Mela were unaware of this since they openly supported a buddy who has been charged with attacking many people and raping two women. The couple's activities caused the internet to react swiftly, sending them to the other side of the globe from their residences in Hollywood. In the end, they were forced to apologize in public. Ashton's most recent apology is one of the worst ones available. Instead of being the sincere confession of regret, it had the characteristic of a forced acknowledgement, words that had been put together to limit blowback. Given his significant public position, the turbulent circumstances around him has prompted concerns about responsibility and raised eyebrows. Not just any star, Ashton served as the head of a group that fought. This paradox raises a crucial query. How can someone who supports such a just cause support an offender's leniency? In addition to reflecting negatively on Ashton, this contradiction raises concerns about the legitimacy of his role inside the company. His choice to request mercy for someone who has been charged with such horrible crimes runs against to all of his stated beliefs. It's a disturbing story. A guy leading a campaign against child abuse gets caught up in court cases that seem to support the exact practices he says he opposes. Ashton was forced to step down as chairman once this controversy became out, which came as no surprise to those carefully watching the proceedings. As is sometimes the case in the world of celebrities, the initial public outcry ultimately subsided, enabling Ashton to distance herself from the limelight. But this little respite was only going to last a short while. Rumor has it that a new issue, this time involving federal officials, is imminent and may land him in major legal problems once again. It is concerning that Ashton is reportedly intensifying his intentions to depart the United States, according to recent speculations. Why would someone who is being closely watched decide to leave all of a sudden? Rumor has it that he has been working with a music business figure, Diddy, specifically for more than 10 years. Although their connection has stayed secret, there have been years of circulating allegations of improper behavior and dubious activities. Pressure is mounting on Diddy as he deals with his personal issues, and he could soon be forced to reveal what he knows. There has never been more tension in the air around Ashton, and the stakes are greater than ever. Authorities are reportedly targeting everyone who attended one of Diddy's notorious parties on a list of people they have linked to. There are major ramifications for anybody connected to Diddy, and the FBI inquiry seems committed to making everyone responsible for their conduct. Unfortunately for Ashton, he is right in the sights of law enforcement since he is one of Diddy's most active social circle members. Ashton's relationship with Diddy is fraught with danger. Those gatherings are notorious for their lavish guest lists and clandestine activities, which begs the issue of what goes on behind closed doors. Many see going to these kinds of gatherings as a privilege 
and an opportunity to socialize with the elite. But for Ashton, this one's glitzy affiliation has become a possible problem. The possibility of coming under federal inquiry increases daily as the pressure increases. The growing belief that everyone connected to Diddy is subject to investigation only serves to worsen the problem. According to reports, federal officials are pursuing a broad investigation, looking at Diddy as well as everyone who has a direct or indirect connection to him. This implies to Ashton that every encounter and every second spent in Diddy's orbit is now being scrutinized. Ashton's participation might easily get him entangled in a web of legal issues, since the authorities are anxious to find links and unearth any criminal activity. For Ashton, the consequences of this relationship are disastrous, and he lives in constant dread of legal action. The prospect of having to account to federal authorities has significant ramifications, including the possibility of long jail terms. It is not just a threat. It is a nightmarish situation for someone who was previously a well-respected leader in the battle against child to be charged with organized crime, drug trafficking, or other criminal offenses. There is a clear and unsettling contrast between his prior advocacy efforts and the specter of criminal accusations. Ashton's situation draws attention to the larger problem of responsibility in the entertainment sector. The culture often permits people to avoid accountability for their deeds, particularly when they are very influential and powerful. The present atmosphere, however, seems to be changing as there is a growing need for responsibility and openness. Ashton is in a vulnerable situation, on the verge of a potentially disastrous collapse, as federal officials tighten their hold on Diddy and his cronies. Ashton has to make important choices on how to handle this dangerous situation in light of these growing demands. He is at a crossroads in his life, where he can either cut links and try to separate himself from the aftermath or continue on a path that coincides with Diddy and the dangers that go along with it. Every decision has serious ramifications and doing nothing might have disastrous results. The public is eagerly awaiting Ashton's response to this situation and is keeping a close eye on him. Will he become another warning about the dangers of celebrity culture or will he emerge as a symbol of responsibility and accountability? In addition to determining his destiny, the decisions he takes in the next weeks may also change how the public views him. Ashton must confront the terrifying fact that he must be ready for battle as the FBI inquiry heats up. The path forward is paved with obstacles, whether it is obtaining legal counsel or creating public relations plans. He has to prepare himself for the prospect of being questioned, being subjected to media attention, and being judged by a populace that previously admired him. Furthermore, Ashton's personal problems are not the only consequences of this circumstance. If the inquiry reveals substantial proof, it may drastically change the entertainment industry's environment, with potentially devastating consequences for Diddy and his close circle. Many people could be forced to face the repercussions of their affiliations after being embroiled in legal disputes. The stakes are quite high, and many parties concerned may have to face the consequences if they are unable to negotiate this terrain. In the end, Ashton's predicament is a sobering reminder of the difficulties of famous life, where the attraction of stardom can easily turn into a nightmare. It emphasizes the value of honesty and the need for responsibility, especially in a society where morality may be ambiguous. The results of the probe will surely have an impact that extends far beyond the lives of the individuals involved in the drama. The issue still stands, will Ashton be carried away by the waves of controversy and scrutiny, or will he be able to recover his story and pave the route for redemption? One thing is apparent while the public awaits answers. While the FBI inquiry is ongoing, Ashton's future remains unknown and in jeopardy. In addition to defining his legacy, 
The decisions he takes today will serve as a warning to those navigating the perilous seas of fame and power. There has never been more pressure to face the truth as the time is winding down and the feds are getting closer. The fall from grace has been rapid and cruel for someone like Ashton, who formerly had a prominent position at the head of an organization that combats child abuse. The ancient saying, the higher you rise, the harder you fall, is echoed in this story. No one is unaware of the absurdity of his position as chairman, a person tasked with advocating for the most vulnerable, while juggling a tangle of accusations and possible criminal charges. This sharp contrast highlights the brittleness of reputation in the limelight and serves as a sobering reminder of how public personas and private realities may sometimes clash violently. Ashton's predicament is a perfect example of the intricacies of celebrity life, where decisions taken in the name of success and moral superiority may quickly destroy the facade. His recent activities have turned him into a symbol of suspicion and doubt, when before he was seen as a light of advocacy and hope. The contrast between his previous position and present one highlights the negative aspects of celebrity, where the attraction of power may result in moral failings and a detachment from one's basic beliefs. Given Ashton's advocacy activities, this gap is especially concerning. His personal decisions and affiliations have now eclipsed the very task he was given to protect children from harm. Even the most well-meaning people may go off course when confronted with temptation and the alluring charms of celebrity culture, as his narrative serves as a warning about the perils of losing touch with one's morals. It emphasizes how important honesty and self-awareness are, particularly for influential people. Ashton's actions had serious repercussions that affect not only him, but also the group he represented and the cause he professed to support. His mission was previously trusted, but today those who trusted it feel deceived. Victims, supporters, and stakeholders who formerly saw him as an ally may now experience disappointment and begin to doubt the morality of the cause he once spearheaded. This betrayal of confidence is disastrous because it calls into question the genuineness of people engaged in child abuse advocacy and jeopardizes the advancements achieved in this area. Ashton's rapid slide is made more difficult by the celebrity industry's responsibility culture. The entertainment sector has been beset by a culture that often shields people from the repercussions of their deeds particularly those who have considerable authority and influence. Ashton's predicament draws attention to a crucial weakness in this dynamic. The probability of moral failure rises sharply when people are in positions of power without the proper checks and balances. This calls into question how society promotes certain people and what measures are in place to keep them responsible. In a time when people are less inclined to ignore moral shortcomings, the public's response to Ashton's predicament indicates a rising need for responsibility. Public leaders are under increasing pressure to behave in a way that is consistent with their professed principles as social media amplifies cries for justice. Ashton's situation represents a shift in society's expectations, where responsibility is now expected rather than merely sought. As this tale develops, it serves as a powerful reminder that notoriety and power come with obligations. The stakes are quite high, and there might be dire repercussions if these obligations are not fulfilled. The road ahead will be difficult for Ashton as he faces the legal repercussions of his affiliations, as well as the introspection that comes with acknowledging how he got lost. In the end, Ashton's story speaks to a lot of people because it emphasizes how important it is to maintain one's morals and sense of reality within the hectic world of notoriety. It is a clear warning that the temptation to gain power may impair judgment and cause people to make poor decisions. Regaining integrity requires first admitting one's sins, even if the path to redemption may be paved with challenges. 
Because of Ashton's experience, people in powerful situations are urged to take action and to continue to be conscious of their obligations. It highlights how crucial it is to have an accountable culture in which people are held to the same standards they advocate. Ashton's decline serves as a powerful reminder of the perils of deviating from one's principles and the grave repercussions that might occur in an era where openness and truthfulness are prized more and more. It's obvious that Ashton's trip will have an impact much beyond his personal tale as the public eagerly watches to see whether he can successfully negotiate this turbulent terrain and rebuild his image. It will serve as a warning to next leaders about the importance of honesty, responsibility, and the constant danger of compromising one's morals. Ashton's narrative will serve as a reminder that the road to redemption involves more than just regaining our previous glory. It also entails reiterating the principles that define us in a complicated society where morality may be hazy. As he navigates this difficult terrain, Ashton has to face not just his public persona, but also the consequences of his decisions and the truth of his actions. People often make bad choices as a result of the tremendous pressure of celebrity and the expectations that come with it. It's unclear whether Ashton will deal with the fallout or figure out a way out of yet another challenging circumstance as the pressure builds. Although the result is still uncertain, there is not much time left, and the clock is running out. We are all aware of Ashton's typically calm demeanor in public and at events. But others who saw Ashton at one of Diddy's white parties in 2009 would disagree. It seemed like he turned a switch and adopted a loose, unrestrained attitude. The matter becomes much more complicated, however, since Ashton says he has only ever gone to the parties and never did any of Diddy's infamous freak offs. It's difficult to think that Ashton was unaware of these so called freak offs which have been occurring at the after parties for more than 20 years. Given how close they were and how Ashton even persuaded Diddy to run the New York Marathon. Ashton has good cause to be worried about those who believe he may be too paranoid. This year, Ashton was already expecting a sapuna from federal officials before Diddy's home was searched. It seems that being too close to Diddy is a certain way to spiral into more serious trouble. As I examine this developing drama, Ashton and his spouse have been talking about how much fun they had in Europe and how they are thinking about relocating there. Why is Europe now being promoted as the best destination for them to raise their kids when this isn't their first visit? It seems less like a sincere want for a new life and more like a possible escape route. The devil works hard, as they say, but Ashton Kutcher's public relations staff appears to be working even harder. Suspicions are raised by the manner they are disseminating anonymous remarks. According to one source, Ashton feels duped, betrayed and manipulated, and regrets his association with Diddy. According to this source, Ashton has nothing to hide and would be completely supportive if reached. The worst part, however, is that Ashton said he never once thought Diddy was responsible for such heinous acts. He said in an interview that he was unable to talk about what transpired at the events he attended. Therefore, this comment raises concerns. Something shady had to be going on there, obviously. I firmly think that the Diddy story may provide the essential impetus for Hollywood, revealing the secrets of many people, something that seems to have already started. Ashton's PR team claims that he had no actual contact with Diddy and that he severed his links with him as soon as he watched Cassie's video online and realized what a monster he was dealing with. But a lot of people don't believe this story. Opinions on social media are rife, with some people claiming that a hit dog will holler and that he is guilty. Given that he has been to many of Diddy's parties and may have liked the After Dark activities, they assume that he worries Diddy may have information against him that may implicate him. Why would he be so nervous if he wasn't really involved? 
Another commentator said that Ashton's attempt to characterize these gatherings as strange seems to be a last-ditch attempt to defend himself, particularly in light of the fact that his other close buddy is now behind bars. Since you don't flee until you feel endangered, it's difficult not to assume that Ashton is frantically trying to rescue himself. Undoubtedly, it seems that he has some important secrets. Now tell me what you think. Is Ashton only a victim of the mayhem, or is he attempting to elude the feds? Don't forget to go here to see this other similarly dirty film, and leave your thoughts in the comments section below.